Hi, my name is Gilles Pfeiffer and I'm the CEO of French School of CG. Some of you saw my little animation man made with 3ds Max and After Effects and Plexus and you wanted to know how did I do this kind of uh, animation. So here is the training. First of all, you need 3ds Max and you will need StatSet which is a part of the subscription advantage pack for 3ds max 2012 and uh, the good thing is uh, in 3ds max 2013 uh, state sets will become a part of the software so no need to uh, upgrade with the subscription advantage pack so first of all the little thing uh, i use uh, for this is a biped with a, a biped animation from a motion capture. So uh, let's create a biped. There. I create the biped on the top view. Here it is. Okay. So the next part is just simple. You have to uh, go to animation tab and then bring back a biped file I will choose dance like this open here is the file it's just a little dance from a guy and uh, now we have to uh, to use that set to export that maybe I will create a camera so let's go choose a nice view like this okay I did control with C and a, here is a camera so now I will choose to go to stat set like this and there is special sets for objects there so I will choose to select few objects in the scene only the camera and all the bipeds right here like this not the footsteps I click OK and then I click on this and if you stop the uh, record states of all the objects with this button okay you will see that there is 32 nodes property changes and uh, this is all the bipeds and uh, the and this will be the things which w will be exported to 3ds max so then you just have to create a link there create it somewhere I call it biped I save okay something happened okay that's it so I close 3ds max maybe I can save this biped okay now let's go to after effects in after effects when you install the subscription event touch pack you will have have here a new shortcut which is called open compositor link so click on it you just have to click on create link go to the place where you saved the file there it is so I select it okay okay I can close this window and there on this part uh, in the project panel you have Autodesk link you just have to click on it so here is the composition maybe we can delete this okay and there you are 
let's see you have many 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 layers on your composition and uh, everything every layers as animation parameters so in scale position rotation etc etc so it's quite simple now everything is uh, a solid and to use plexus we need to copy all the uh, all the things uh, from the the these layers to lights to manage to uh, to uh, use uh, the plexus and all the things about plexus so I will change a few things on the composition there when you want please composition settings I will choose a nice HDTV and 25 like this okay I will choose to go to the camera settings and mm, the bad things about uh, this importation from 3ds Max is all the keys so I decide to delete the keys I took my camera tool like this I will choose to go back a little like this and now I will look okay it's great now you have to replace every layers and give uh, to a light the animation keys on the from this so let's go create new light choose a point light like this click OK like this and you just have to copy position keys like this so control C control V and you will see here is the things about the position and here is the things about the position from the light it's quite the same like this okay when you have copied uh, the keys so you uh, can delete this layer like this okay uh, be careful of something I did a mistake here are the keys so it's better to do something like this okay I'll delete the keys and go back like this and copy the keys okay now that's okay next you just have to copy all the uh, layers, position, keys to many lights. So I decide to create a new light, layers, new lights. Okay, light two, position, control C, control V. lights okay position control c control v see you in few minutes after i copied all the things see you okay here we are again so i just copy all the position keys uh, from the layers imported from 3s max with stat sets and i applied all the position keys to lights so if we see what's going on there so you see position okay i get just my light 21 which have no no position keys maybe just because i okay so i delayed it so we have 32 lights 31 lights with one camera so let's see what's going on there you see many lights many animation keys so now we have the base the basics of the scene 
So let's add now another layer. So choose solid, make on size, okay. And now I will add an effect from Robite Plexus. Now I just need to add objects, lights like this, okay. And ta-da! When you look like this, everything is just connected. Plexus. So all the lights, so all the lights are connected. So now we just have to decide to increase like this maximum distance. You can increase fade out distance too. So I will just decide to like this. Okay, show you all the stuff. I will do a quick render and that's all. It's all that simple. Just import it from 3ds Max, all your uh, animation keys from 3ds Max with that set, then import it in three After Effects and then copy all uh, the animation keys from the layers to uh, lights, add Plexus to a solid and that's it. That's so simple. So after this, you can choose many other things like you can see maximum distance. You can just fade out a bit. Okay. You can decrease the max number of points to search. Eight, maybe like this. Okay. 10 was nice. You can increase or decrease the line thickness like this and you can go to light there or points you can go to points you can increase point size if you want okay like this so was nice okay uh, you can override points opacity like this and you can decide to have point opacity to 100% or 50% it's nice okay you can also I uh, like to do something like that create another solid layer like this a nice color like that okay grab the layer I just decide to hide those layers in the layer tab so like this okay it's nice like this then I go to plexus and I choose to go to override the color points and set it to black like this okay I will increase the point opacity like this I will check uncheck the get opacity from points like this okay increase this like that okay so then on my layer I can grab this go to effect generate four color gradient like this something nicer like that check that okay check check go to something darker there okay go to something darker there too okay something lighter around here okay so that's all we have and here is the animation if you want to have uh, less uh, lines less points you just have to uh, go to the tab uh, effect tab and just check all the parameters all the parameters you have around there and uh, do uh, as you like so I hope uh, this uh, training uh, was nice to you, so uh, see you uh, 
for another video trainings around 3ds max and after effects see you